And one thing I've found is if you want different results than other people, you're going to have to do different things than other people. And the typical advice that you're going to get from a lot of people are going to get you the really similar results to most people. Yo friend, what is up? Welcome to our lakeside vacation here in Ontario. We're having a good slackline session this morning. It's actually really cool because we're slacklining on Slacklife BC webbing made in Canada. So if you wanna check out some of the Slacklife BC webbing, do that. But anyhow, here on our last full day of vacation, just having a blast. We're staying here at the Wills Cabins next to the lake. People have been looking pretty good this week. There's been a life's better when you make stuff shirt rocked by someone every single day of the vac vacation so far. If you want to get a life's better when you make stuff shirt, you know what to do. Link in bio. I've got some things to talk to you about today. We're on vacation, but also what this has been for me, it's a really good time to kind of pause and reassess some of the direction that I've been heading with the company. Because I started this vlog, Left Coast Life, as an opportunity for me to first share with you the making of my films. I wanted to bring people along on that journey and actually have people around who cared about the work that I was going to release in the future. And that was my first film that I started doing this on, which was Untethered. If you haven't seen that, check it out, untetheredfilm.ca, my first documentary. I'd love if you checked it out. Anyhow, that's kind of why I started this vlog. I wanted to be able to take people on the journey of building a business and kind of finding a path in life, doing what I love. So here we are about two years in and I figured it's about time to do a really practical down to earth business update about how I think things are going. Before we sit down and chat some business, we're gonna head out on the boat for a bit. <laughs> You just said you didn't need any tips. Well, it's hard to remember. <laughs> okay, a little pressure. And go. Yeah. Hey, you got up for stride. <laughs> Surfing on a kneeboard. Who would have thought? Are you are you gonna on the record increase your yeah. your odds now? Before I said seven out of ten, now I gotta say like you know eleven out of ten. And I think we've managed to stay up longer than a little bit. Oh, when you were just screaming about it. Yeah. You got up your first try. I did. <laughs> that was awesome. Thanks to your instruction. You were killing it, babe. It was so good! Okay, now I'm gonna jump into a new segment for the vlog, and I think I'm gonna call it like behind the business or something like that. It's business. It's business time. 
this kind of little session that we're gonna do here, I'm hoping to kind of set the stage for some of the future conversations we're gonna have about business growth and how things are going and maybe adjusting the course that we're heading a little bit. So that kind of brings us to my big goal. And my big goal is I just wanna make more films and tell more stories. That's what I wanna spend a majority of my time doing, making films like Untethered and making series like the Slack Life series and just kind of making more stories that I find fascinating, that I truly believe makes the world a better place. And then with that, I wanna teach people like you. I wanna teach people how to make better films and I wanna use that to make a positive impact just by empowering people and equipping them to go create and to go create more things. So those are kind of the two things that I really wanna be doing. And I took stock of my life about five months ago as I've been on the journey to, th to this goal essentially. And I realized that it didn't feel like I was being successful at it. I was having a hard time funding some of my own projects, these films that I wanted to be making. And I was realizing, you know, I'm spending a lot of time doing things and it doesn't feel like I'm actually making progress on that goal. What I really needed was a little bit more patience because right now I'm experiencing a transition that's actually super key. I want to talk to you about it. So currently right now, I was kind of have like four main things going on. And I want to use this graph to kind of show you how much time I'm spending on each of those things and then how much income that makes for the business as a whole. Right now, my entire operation is basically solely funded through client work. That's where I spend a majority of my time and that what, that's what makes a majority of the income. And what's kind of different about the business that I'm starting is I'm not just trying to be sustainable through doing work, I'm actually trying to invest my own finances and time into making films because I want to. And, and the interesting thing is, is when you're starting off, people always tell you so much, people are really quick to give advice. And one thing I've found is if you want different results than other people, you're gonna to have to do different things than other people. And the typical advice that you're gonna get from a lot of people are gonna get you the really similar results to most people. And what I found in my life is I don't want the same results as most people. I want different results. Okay, so to share with you how things are currently going, I wanna use this graph. And I wanna show you how I've been going about funding my own projects. Cause I get asked that often, how do you just go make awesome projects? And the reality is I pay for them myself right now. That's because I, I really want to make them and, that, and that's what brings me joy and something I just love doing. So currently, as I was saying before, my whole operation is basically funded entirely through client work. And as you can imagine, doing client work takes a lot of my time. So this graph section right here, this section for client work is how much time I spend on it. And now the green inside of it is basically how much money, how much revenue that generates for me. So across these four activities here, the majority of what I spend my time on is client work. That's so I can generate revenue to go make films, make YouTube videos, stuff like that. So these other three areas on the graph are the other areas that I spend my time currently. And the green areas correlate with how much income they generate. So I, I spend a lot of my time in the year just making films and stories that I wanna make. That's the films section that does not generate much money at all. Then I also spend a good amount of time making these YouTube videos. And what I spend the least amount of time on is the education and online products. So these four categories basically represent how Left Coast currently operates. I spend a lot of my time on client work and that pays for everything else. And I, I could spend a lot of time kind of camping out on this thought and explaining how I've been doing that right there. But the point of this video is to explain that this model right here isn't sticking around forever and I'm transitioning something that's been two years in the making. So this new graph right here is the business model that I'm moving towards. Right now, Left Coast is primarily a business to business company. When I make a video for a business, I get paid. And where we're moving towards is being a product-based business. So that way we can sell more products than we spend time making them. So it's not just a linear input output relationship with time worked equals money made. And it's not, it's not exactly that simple. There's a lot of nuance happening there in the way I'm explaining that, but I'm essentially trying to transition away from client work and move towards selling online products. And what's cool about products is I can pour my heart into making them. And once they're made, they can continue to generate revenue while I go out and do other things like making films. So that brings us to the transition. How do you go from client work to making primarily products to generate your revenue? And that's been something that's been in the making over the past couple of years. I've been working at kind of building my audience, but not only 
building the audience, but also trying to understand what could I specifically help people with that they would be happy to spend money on. And that's the question that I've been trying to answer. How could I generate a lot of value for someone in a product that if it's right for them, they'd be happy to buy. And this is the transition stage where I've been paying really close attention to people's questions over the years now. I've been building the audience, but now we're moving towards that stage where I actually need to build <laughs> some of those things and start to see if those are lining up with what people actually want. Because then I can start building them, which means I can start selling them, which means the day is coming where I get to invest my time more evenly across the things that I care about. And it doesn't have to be as weighted towards client work to pay for everything. It's business. It's business time. That's the big shift. Shift from client work to online products so I can sustain making films by spending less time making more helpful things for more people. Whew. What does that mean about what we're doing right now? Well, it means I have to be a really good decision maker. I need to make good decisions about where I spend my time, about which client projects I say yes to and which ones I say no to. And also another part about these next couple of years is I wanna be hiring people to work with. I wanna be hiring editors and producers and maybe even find a partner in business. These are all things that get me really excited and closer to kind of this end goal of having a sustainable lifestyle business. Okay, so drop your questions in the comments. I wanna hear what it, what kind of stuff about the business are you curious about? Do you have any questions about the process that I'm on? I'm an open book with this stuff and I wanna be better at explaining. I wanna do these maybe once every two weeks, once a month, who knows? But I just wanna be more open with the process because I know if other people have been open with the process when they were starting and building the businesses that they've built, I would have been able to learn a lot from that. And I'm trying to do that here. So thank you. Thanks for watching. I appreciate having you along. If you want to learn more about adventure filmmaking, go to leftcoast.co slash learn. I'd love to have you. I'd love to hear your questions. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, life's better when you make stuff. <laughs>